Buhari receives Emir Ferry at State House Abuja. Welcome to the news and thank you for sending in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. President Mohamed Buhari on Thursday met with the Mbato Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN Governor Godwin Emiefili at the State House, Abuja. Politics Nigeria reports that the meeting is Emiefili's second meeting with President Tim to return to the country earlier this month. Early on Thursday, the Mbato CBN chief was part of a delegation of the Arab Bank for Economic Development led by its Director General DG Dr. Sidi Old Tar. Recall that Amy Philly, who went on leave before last Christmas, has been in the news as it emerged that the Department of State Services, DSS, tried to arrest him in December 2022. His leave expired on Sunday, January 25th, January 15th, rather, 2023, has spent the first part of us leaving the United States and was in the United Kingdom until Sunday evening from where he flew back to Nigeria and arrived at the Namdia Zikiwe International Airport, Abuja, on Monday morning. The DSS had approached the Federal High Court in Abuja seeking a warrant to arrest him over allegations that he was involved in terrorism financing and economic crimes. In declining the motion ex parte, usually filed by an applicant in the absence of the respondent, Justice J.T. Soho, the chief judge, said that the secret police did not provide any concrete evidence to substantiate its claims. There are suggestions that the bid to arrest Emifili might be political given the impact the redesign of a Naira and limit on cash withdrawals might have on vote buying in the 2023 elections. A group of civil society organizations raised the alarm that there was a plot to frame Amy Philly for terrorism and remove him from office. However, the Department of State Services, DSS, swiftly warned against anyone being used to undermine its allegations, although it did not specifically name Amy Philly. Now, so the news is that Amy Philly is back in town, though it is not the first time we're hearing it. But the news is also that... They have not really told us anything. We have all there is. It is no longer news that Amy Philly has been accused of financing terrorism. Though we do not know how, to date we don't know how. We just know that he was accused of financing terrorism, and a lot of people have been pointing to the fact that you know it was during his tenure that he was the one that brought about the redesigning of the Naira. Apart from the redesigning of the Naira, he also brought a policy where your I think as an individual, you only withdraw 100,000 denaira, you know, you only withdraw 100,000 denaira cash from your bank account. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people have been like, oh, you know, many, many people are like, oh, politicians who do not want, uh, what's it called, who do not want the policy to stay, they're actually the ones fighting Amy Philly with every if every blood in their veins, they are using all resources they have to make sure that they remove him or he gets us to stop. You know, I think one particular person came out and was like, you know, that they should increase it to like an individual, individual 500,000 every week. So this has been going on in the news for quite some time. And I think it's going to pick up momentum. We're hoping it picks up momentum. Let us hear from Amy Philly. You know, but me, oh, I don't know. I'm not watching for anybody. But if it has found out that Amy Philly has... Skeleton and scoreboard, and be say, gas for But if not, then you know, this one would be this two shall pass for him. So, if you ask me, you those individuals, if they don't have evidence, I've suggested what I'm trying to say earlier before that if someone that if someone actually commits a, a, a I mean, accused of a crime, maybe charges it to court about a particular situation eh, or a particular matter. And then you are actually innocent. I, I, I have suggested in the point that the person should be able to pay you damages. So that is for next time. We don't just come out and frame anybody. That is for next time. We don't. I think we should put it in our law. Do you understand? Uh, for those that you know get ahead of themselves. If somebody did not do something, you go and report the person, and the person is proven guilty. You get to, you know, you get to pay. This is as, as, as a result of 
during the course of your drinking the person in the court if the person is somebody who maybe is in a job because i've 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 seen situations where you know they charge someone to court in the process of attending to the court cases and all of that the person lost his or her job you know especially when maybe the news is all over the place you're not yet pro you're not yet proclaimed due to you they have not said oh you're guilty but the news is all over the place before you know it maybe you lost a job and all that they should pay for it that is what i'm saying and if at the end of the day you're not guilty then you know face the consequences which should be, be your your term you know if it is a two-year jail term it is a three-year but they should avoid, you know, dragging the person. Like, we have people awaiting trial. Anything like that, she should not work. I've just said that anything awaiting trial, if, let's say, for instance, now, somebody is in detention for three years, and after that three years, the person is brought out, and, you know, the court case now begins. If, the, at the end of the day, the person is not, um, let's say, is not guilty, the person is acquitted, uh, you get to pay heavily. Have, like heavily, so the next time you're going to make sure you get your facts together before bringing in the person. I'm using the scenario, you know. Now, then, if at the end of the day, let's say the person is supposed to spend three years in prison and the person has spent three in the waiting trial, believe you me, the person should just go right home because he doesn't serve in term to me, to the best of my knowledge. Now, if I'm FLA now, it's now what I'm saying is if he's not guilty, they should pay for damages. For soiling his name. This is what they call defamation of character. Mm? They should pay heavily. And of course, if at the end of the day he's guilty, he should, they should charge him to, you know, he they should, they should serve, he should bear the consequences that comes along with it. All right. Hmm. The death sentence security will be at stake if they're allowed to do, if they're not allowed to do a good job of this investigation, that seems to look like the mother of L investigations. Really? My own is, why is it at this time that they had to add, uh, uh, what's it called? If you have been financing terrorism since, why we said I don't know, why not now? And my own is, is I don't know if they're trying to play fast one. If they just want, want to use Emifili and dump him. I'm saying that is, I'm seeing it like that is what is going to happen. Because he came outside and after telling us that, oh, you cannot withdraw more than 100,000. After he gave them military policies, you know. He said that Buhari is actually behind him, backing him. So I am here asking myself, is Buhari not the commander-in-chief? Can you not tell these people back off the investigation? That is what I'm asking. All right, the Naira redesigning and transition limited the strategy to root him out of victory, but I know Baba would have gotten the raw cash in vent. Okay, will Buhari, your accomplice, be there forever? The more you are hiding, the more you are being exposed. Hmm. Okay. Ambassador may feel received by president in state house. Why worry? Well, like I said before, if he's somebody who before now has been up and doing, he does not have any bits of bones or meat in his closet, then it's free. This is why I always tell you, wherever you are, make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you do the right thing. Make sure your integrity is not questioned. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning me into the